you were looking at some important issues in multiple myeloma and specifically newly diagnosed multiple myeloma in relatively young patients. What was it you were particularly wanting to look at? We wanted, we had basically two questions. The first one was the role of high dose chemotherapy and transplant in comparison with an oral triplet of cyclophosphamide, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone. So, transplant versus no transplant. And the second question of our trial was uh, uh, the maintenance strategy that we could administer either the use of lenalidomide alone or lenalidomide plus prednisone. And that was maintenance whether or not they had transplants or not? Exactly. All the patients were first randomized to transplant and no transplant. And after that, all the patients after the consolidation, regardless of what they received, were again randomized to lenalidomide prednisone or lenalidomide alone. Mm. Now these were younger patients, what age group and, and, and how much of a genuine dilemma was it whether to give them transplants or medical therapy? They, all, they were all younger than 65 years and they were all eligible for high dose chemotherapy. The objective of the trial was to see if transplants is required now that we have these new no, these novel agents highly efficacious. So Sounds fascinating. What did yeah. you find? We found that transplant is still the standard of care because transplant prolonged both the progression free and the overall survival and this advantage was noticed in all the subgroup of patients we analyzed according to the age, the prognostic features and also according to the different maintenance treatments that we administered after this consolidation. How big was that superiority? was, was uh, really big because the difference in the median progression free survival was 43 months versus uh, uh, 28 months, so pretty much a high difference. And the difference in the four year overall survival was 86% versus 73% with really another ratio of 2.5 of uh, no transplant versus transplant. So it really a big difference. Now, does that change practice, do you think? I think this, uh, it uh, doesn't change practice because the standard is the transplant, but this confirmed that transplant is still a standard even with the use of novel agents. So the strategy now is to incorporate the novel agents into the transplant uh, program in the induction and in the maintenance after transplant. Mm -hmm. Now let's get on to the question of prednisone or not. Yeah. What did you do in that part of the study? We randomized again the, all the patients that uh, finished the, the consolidation to receive lenalidomide alone at a standard dose of 10 mg or the same dose of lenalidomide plus 50 mg every other day of prednisone that was considered a therapeutic dose of prednisone and uh, in both arms uh, patients uh, continued the treatment until progression disease. What did you find? We found that uh, prednisone was not well tolerated because about a third of patients had to reduce the dose very early with a median time of four months and uh, it did not increase significantly the progression free or the overall survival in comparison with the use of lenalidomide alone. Where does this leave the use of prednisone in this setting? Probably prednisone is not a drug that can be used uh, in the long-term therapy. We can use the steroids uh, in the induction, in the consolidation for a short time period to have a good cytoreduction, but probably for the maintenance treatment where the toxicity is an important issue for patients, uh, the use of lenalidomide as single agent is well tolerated and in the end uh, the addition of prednisone did not improve the survival. So. And it's nice to spare drugs. Yeah. Mm. What then are the practical take home messages coming out of your work from both of the parts of your study? First one is that transplant is the standard of care even now that we have good novel agents uh, and we had good results so we have to incorporate the transplant uh, in the, the novel agents into a transplant strategy both in the induction and in the maintenance and that maintenance we know that prolongs remission and probably the use of the immunomodulatory agent along lenalidomide is uh, the right strategies because the prednisone adds toxicity without significantly improving the survival.